Hey everyone and welcome back to Days Gone. On this video, we're taking down the Death Train Horde. This is a horde we saw very early in the game. It might have even been the first horde that we saw. Right here. Um, I could fast travel there. And I suppose I should. So let's do that. Alright, well I hear them. This one should be a lot easier to take down because it's not that big and there is an explosive truck over there. So I think I'm just going to get their attention, run near the truck, and blow them up hopefully. Oh, and there's a chopper. Hello, chopper. Nero's up to something. Alright, anyways, we're going to say hi to these fine zombies. I should blow that up over there. That'll get some of them. There we go. It's time to start. Let me uh, clump them up real good on this truck. <laughs> They're confused. They think I'm over there. But I'm not. I'm too sneaky for you. Oh, and we got another explosive right here. So yeah, they give you lots of tools to deal with this horde. Should be an easy one to take down. And that's probably good. Boom! And just a couple left. Guess I can just shoot him. Wait, is it just him? No, there's more somewhere. Hi! You missed the party. And there we go, the Death Train Horde has been taken down. Easy peasy. Horde Killer Storyline updated, or Horde Killer Storyline updated, of course. And that Nero Trapper just checking out the scene. Well, I hope he was impressed with what he just saw. Took down a horde easily. Maybe you should team up with me, Nero guys. Alright, well, I could put some fuel in the bike, which I will. Um, while I'm here though, there should be some good supplies scattered about. So let's see what we can find. Because we want to prepare for the harder hordes. Well, some kerosene. Full on the others. There we go. Oh good, I can get some scrap. And I assume that that's an airbag? Oh, no, what was I seeing? Nothing, apparently. Okay, thought I saw something. Uh, what is that? Nothing I need. Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. I thought that was Growler. It's like, I'm full on Growler? When did that happen? All right, we got some scrap. That's good. Some more scrap. And a spark igniter. Let's see. You got any scrap for me, car? I hope so. Yeah, there we go. Four scrap. Beautiful. Okay, what do we got in here? We got a med kit. Always use this. Might be useful. Some nails. See an alarm. Oh, nice. Some growler. Alarm clock. Oh, I don't want to sleep. Hey, look, sleeping. Use a bunk at safe locations like bunkers or the safe house to sleep and advance time. Some challenges like infestations can be approached differently depending on time of day. Additionally, progress can be saved when you when near a bunk. All right, cool. Oh, I'm just gonna close my I eyes. actually wasn't gonna sleep, but apparently I am gonna sleep. Ready to go back at it. 
Okay, well, it only took me about 200 plus episodes to sleep, but I never really saw much of a need for it. And the times when I could have used it, I couldn't actually get to the bunk, so. Didn't find that to be particularly useful. Hopefully get some more scrap here. Uh, nope, suppressor. I don't want that crap. Alright, I'll just grab the stuff up here, and there is a gas can. We'll fuel up, and then we should be good. And that is some more growler. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I don't remember putting the bike over here. I think it relocated it. And potentially some more scrap. Yes. Okay, good. Haven't had my scrap levels high in a while, but now they finally are. And, uh... You know what? I'm going to try to end every video with me damaging my bike a little bit so I can repair it. Ow. All right. That should be worth two scrap at least, you would think. Or actually just one. Oh, no, it was two. Okay, good enough. All right, well, um, yeah, if I do that every video, I will eventually get the trophy for using 100 scrap to fix my bike. Oh, and I almost forgot. Storyline update. Almost all of them are 100% now. In fact, only two aren't 100%. Horde Killer and the Finding Nero. So, Horde Killer, we have the Death Train Horde. The Nero Death Trains, that's what we called them. They tried to seal the body bags tight enough to keep the smell in. It didn't work. Day and night, the trains would come through farewell, heading to mass grave sites out here. After shit went down, these all became feeding grounds. Well, I guess this one, or I, well, I guess this is one fewer horde that needs feeding. Indeed. All right. So with that, we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.